In the past decade, teen use of social media has exploded. At the same time, the rates of suicide and self-harm in young people has begun to climb as well. These two trends have left parents, educators, and public health officials worried that the adolescent social media diet and harmful behaviors such as self-harm and suicidal ideation are linked. What does science say? Research has found that the way a teen experiences and processes potentially harmful content online is going to be different depending who they are and what they're like. Before they ever log on, a teen's general emotional well-being may determine what sort of activities they engage in and how they respond to what they see when they go online. Teens who are vulnerable to self-harm and suicide are particularly affected by seeing or engaging with posts that promote or romanticize self-harming thoughts or behaviors. And sadly, teens don't need to look very hard to find them. In one study, as many as one quarter of teens reported seeing posts related to suicide on their social media feeds. Cyberbullying may be another tragic experience that can heighten feelings of alienation or sadness, especially for teens already suffering from anxiety, depression, or other mental health challenges. These experiences can pose a serious threat to the well-being of a vulnerable teen, and the content they see may even give them ideas on how to follow through on self-harming behavior, or conceal those behaviors from their loved ones. However, there is another more positive side to social media. Vulnerable teens are more likely to find help and support online as well, and they may benefit from the connections made with others who struggle with similar issues. Within these positive online communities, teens often feel acceptance and understanding, while also a sense of empowerment from the chance to provide support to others. Finally, if a teen is struggling with more severe signs of anxiety or depression, or expressed suicidal thoughts, there are resources available to get help. This video is based on a chapter in the Handbook of Adolescent Digital Media Use and Mental Health. You can learn more about how to protect teens from the risks of digital media by downloading a free copy of the handbook at www.teensandtech.org handbook.